Hello people, how are you doing today? Hope you are doing great by learning and creating stuff. Alright, so is React still relevant? I mean today, in 2023, is React still relevant? And maybe once we go to 2024, 2025, the similar questions will keep coming. Because I keep getting this question and in my DM, right? And usually I don't make videos like, you know, if this technology is alive versus that technology is de you know, dead or if uh, AI is going to take our job market, those, those are the topics that I don't usually focus. My focus is on teaching you the technology fundamentals with my experience. But this is something that coming on my DM again and again, then I thought, okay, instead of responding to every individual, why not making a video and share that with, you know, the community. And let's see like what community understand from my perspective and whether they are actually aligning with my perspective or not. All right. So let's get started with this video. Now, the question is like, is React still relevant? Should I still uh, invest my time on learning React? And these kind of questions usually come from beginners, people who are already learning React uh, or already invested themselves in React and building things. They mostly don't ask this question, but the beginners tend to ask this question because, you know, rightly that they are actually starting their journey. So they have to know that is it worth to uh, spend my time uh, on, on a technology that actually I'm planning to learn and I'm trying to give the answer for that. Okay. So the first thing first. Um, React is relevant or not, that confusion, I think it came up very recently when we uh, got this documentation or doc, doc, you know, got this particular web page on react.dev. So let me first talk about what is react.dev. So react.dev, if you don't know, it's a, it's a new website from where you actually can learn React a lot. And this is one of my favorite documentation from a technology library, actually, in the world. I love this documentation so, so much that I spend a lot of time every day, you know, lurking around in a different part of this documentation to gain my knowledge. It is so beautifully organized and written um, that you can actually learn, you can code, in, you know, inside it. And then you feel like, okay, whatever my learning, whether that my learning is proper and I'm able to kind of understand things, you know, properly or not. So that's why the documentation is very rich. This page specifically, you know, in the beginning of this documentation, when it says like start a new React project, and if you just read, you know, the first paragraph, it says, if you want to build a new app or new website fully with React, fully with React, we recommend picking one of the React powered framework popular in the community. Okay. So this is a shocker for some of the beginners, which say like, okay, React documentation is telling that if you want to start a website or an app with React, you don't use React, but rather use a framework which is related to, you know, based on React. How is that? Mm, is it is it is it okay? I mean, or something fishy? Is it like React is going to die? Framework is going to leave? I think that's the confusion that most of the beginners are having in the mind, and that's what I want to talk about. Now, whoever getting confused reading this, you know, particular sentence, I really request you to kind of read further this document especially go completely down you know scroll down scroll down scroll down a little bit more and come here here it says deep dive usually this section is hidden but please expand this and try to read this paragraph and that's going to kind of take away most of your doubts what it says let me just summarize what it says it says that if you want to get started with react alone and if you are convinced that react alone is going to work for you just go ahead and build your application. No worries at all. That's what exactly it says in the last you know, paragraph of, of this particular section. If you're still not convinced and your app is, you know, unusual, constant, not uh, blah, 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 blah. You can actually go ahead and grab the React and React DOM and just get started. But remember, once you're getting started with a project with React, you might start small. But gradually, as and when the feature increases, there are a lot of other complexities come into picture. For example, you might want routing or you might want to manage your uh, code splitting, you manage your code, the build in a certain way. You might want to bring certain kind of optimi optimizations. Now, React from the day one is always projected themselves as library, not framework. What does it mean? What's the difference between a library and a framework? A library is something which is standalone and does its job. It probably does, does one or two job and those one or two job, it does pretty well. That's what the library is for. Whereas framework is going to take care of the entire development experience, you know, that as a developer while building application, we usually, you know, face, for example, you know, how to do the caching, how to do code splitting, how to do certain optimization, how to do routing, 
how to do complex state management and things like that that comes in our mind while we build an application a framework tends to take care of all these 360 degree aspects of it whereas a library probably does only one job so coming to react react's one job is very very clear that it's a library for web application where it provides a component based architecture using the component based architecture you can actually compose things and you can start building your application that's what react's job and it's got extended to react native through which you can actually build a mobile application react doesn't promise anything beyond that you know since the first day of its incubation now if you want anything more for example you want a routing or you want any other feature you get the related library for example for routing you get react router dom react router dom v version 6 whatever it is you get it and you get your dom you get your you know routing working now if you need another feature you probably will be banking on another library another dependency now like this your dependency is going to be higher 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 and the more and more feature you build more and more dependency you bring your code base is also going to be huge so you have to also manage the dependency you also have to manage performance you also have to manage like you know how your page loads you also have to manage a lot of responsiveness issues everything of your own right as the application grows now that's why the framework come into picture because it says that is all batteries included for example next is a framework which is like all batteries included it has everything it has routing everything like like out of the box now if you want to consider an application you see like an application is about to grow a uh, website is about to grow so instead of just starting with bare react and then bringing all other utensils around it one by one why you don't you start with the framework itself which provides everything so that you focus on your business logic and framework takes care of all these nuances around it right that's what that's what exactly this page is talking about this page is never talking about that you don't learn react okay now coming back to the original question is react still relevant 100% more than 100 percent because once you started uh, working on react or started learning react you asked like what are the prerequisite for asking you know learning react and we told that prerequisite for learning react is so and so things from javascript like you have to know scoping you have to know say restructuring you have to know an arrow function there are a few things that you have to know very well if you want to write your code comfortably on react now if you say why why because if you don't know them you will you will find difficulty so you have to do lot of back and forth so you have to know javascript certain things in fundamentally so that you know how to work on react seamlessly now today if you come back and ask the question hey what to what to do to learn next js how to learn next js the first thing that i will recommend that learn react fundamentally once you know react js fundamentally your journey on next js is going to be much much smoother so what react js fundamentally means okay there are a few concepts for example know what is component architecture know about jsx know about state management know about effect management how to do code optimization in react js how to do performance optimization what are the standard hooks how to write custom hooks right how to manage complex state these are all react fundamentals these are all react fundamentals right and once you know this react fundamentals and now jump into next js you have to now accustom to next js style of you know next js syntax how next js works uh, how next js get built all this thing the framework related aspects that you need to pick up additionally but if you just pick up only the framework related aspects and syntax of next js if you don't learn react js fundamentally again you will be stuck you won't be able to read react js code comfortably complex code you won't be able to write complex business logic so you have to come back to fundamentals again that's why react is very relevant today and react is 100% relevant today and if you want to build something react based you have to first learn react please go to react.dev learn react js from this website it is awesome you won't be disappointed go one by one learn everything practice everything in parallel i'm sure that you're going to enjoy now before i end i want to also call out one thing that i got a question is like i've been making a react js playlist since 2022 uh that time uh, react never told like you know if you want to learn react you start with a uh, like like if you want to build on react you start with a framework it never told that um but that was a case even then also right you know uh, the same case but what i want to say is like when i started the playlist i started the playlist keeping fundamentals in mind i never thought like okay let's let's build a clone of this let's build a clone of that with react js that was not the intention even today also that's not the intention 
intention of the playlist is to teach you react js fundamentally the concepts fundamentally so if you want to understand how virtual dom work you have a fundamental concept you want to understand how uh, state management works you have a fundamental concept so everything fundamentally is what is there in the playlist that playlist also very relevant because react fundamentals have not changed much react 18 has come up with lot of great new features that is what i am adding into the playlist right now only thing where you might find certain difficulties is like recently the create react app the cra based on which you used to create the all the react applications that nobody is maintaining so it, that is that is probably almost dead right people are not going to get started their project using cra and that's an indication in this particular page like you should not start with cra right so uh, initial days i have created few example which are like based on cra now if you are watching those videos today please use wit go to wit and use use wit and then using wit uh, you create the same example it is exactly uh, you know similar kind of experience once you kind of start, start doing you have to install wait and then you have to go, do a command which will create the scaffolding with react and then you add your code run with the uh, run with with some command and it will actually run it on a port so that's what exactly i might create a video a quick video about how to use wait but it's not going to be very difficult for you to even if you go to the website and follow it and create those examples in wait instead of cra I started using Vite from my you know recent past, and that should not be a problem. But initial days when Vite was not there or it was not very popular, I used CRA. So that's the only adjustment you need to make. Otherwise, all the concepts, all the fundamental things are exactly same, relevant how it is supposed to be today. Maybe in in coming few years, like till React JS is not dramatically changing their their things, right? Now with that, I want to conclude that if you are getting started with React JS and if you have these doubts in your mind, like, hey, uh, should I learn React JS? Should, should I uh, get uh, uh, you know, involved in React JS? I think if you're interested in this area, if your interest is in, th in this area, yeah, you should, you must, and you don't have to really worry about it. And to learn Next JS, Gatsby, or anything else, you have to learn React JS for learning any React-based framework or react powered framework you have to learn react js first fundamentally so go ahead and learn if you like this video please post a like if you have further questions put in the comment section and it will be great if you could share this video in your circle so that any of your friends or anybody who is having similar kind of doubts they also will come to know the perspective that i am putting about react js and at the end i would like to request you to subscribe to this channel if you have not i keep sharing a lot of good content on javascript react js open source content creation Node.js, Git, GitHub um, on my channel. So I hope you like my content and, and find value from it. Okay, so take care of yourself. I'll come back again soon with a new video. Until then, bye-bye.